Damn, shawty. Damn, shawty, you gotta open Have you ever been wound? talking to a girl, but it seems a little too nice and friendly, and you end up in the friend zone? Well, my friend, it's time to step up your flirting game. So what, is he wearing, like, the, the classic Midwestern guy contact lenses that you see on TikTok a lot? Or did he crank up the fucking opacity so his eyes look like that? What's going on? Or uh, why not both? Also, it's 2019, brother. V-necks are out at that point, okay? It's no longer 2014. You can't be rocking V-necks. So that she sees you as a potential lover. Not opacity, of saturation. I fucked it up. You're right. Just another nice guy. Because flirting is one of the most important attraction skills. So watch closely and take some good notes. My name's Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man, and this is six... Homie's got a LLC, the attractive man LLC. How do they not laugh him out of the room when he was like starting an LLC? He's like, he fucking, he emailed like legal zoom to be like, I need to start an LLC. And they were like, no, can't do this. Ways to flirt with a girl to make her like you. A master. He has mastered the art of seduction. Many boot camps encourage men to be assertive. A woman wants to be turned on. We've done all the testing. We know what works. Now, most guys think that you have to spend lots of money on the girl, buy lots of flowers and gifts, and spend weeks and weeks courting her to get the girl that you really want. But the reality is that women only care about how you make them feel. And one of the best ways to make her feel romantic feelings without spending lots of time and lots and lots of money on her is through flirting. The dictionary defines flirting as behaving as though attracted to or trying to attract someone, but for amusement rather than with serious intentions. And this is great because- I don't understand what the dynamic is with having this kind of fucking landing strip on your chin and like being a fucking PUA dating coach. But why are they doing it? Like- Homie, it's not like you're fucking super attractive. You know what I mean? Like, do better. You can, you can fix it. You, you know how I always say, like, everyone's a seven? Okay? Everyone can be a seven. 100%. Like, everyone. This homie could be a seven if he tried. You know what I mean? And he's literally fucking hurting himself. He's, he's just straight up. Because flirting is basically just showing your interest in her in a fun, covert manner. It's not telling her how much you like her and how much you're in love with her and telling her how beautiful she is and showering her with compliments. That's too direct. And that will usually push her away and feel a little creepy. Instead, do it more subtly and more indirectly and playfully with some of the ways that I'm about to show you. Now, without further ado, here's my countdown to my six favorite ways to flirt with a girl. Number six is teasing, which is poking fun of her, but with positive intention. It's not meant to make her feel bad. It's not meant to be malicious. A lot of guys do this wrong because they see the woman as being higher status and more value than him. He sees himself down here, so he wants to make fun of her, tease her, and neg her, and make her feel bad and bring her down. Basically show her, I'm cooler than you. You're down here beneath me. Never do that. A, it doesn't work that well. Oh! A high value woman who is secure in herself is gonna see right past that. Let's go! And she's just gonna dismiss you and move on to somebody else. Instead, be an awesome guy. Be up here, be a 10. See yourself as a 10 and bring people up to your level. Bring people up to your status instead of trying to put them down. And the key is that it's okay. in the moment. It's not some pre-planned line that you intend to say. It's just something she does. You make fun of her mannerisms or maybe she's walking and she stumbles and you don't tell her she's such a dork and you can't take her anywhere and you're embarrassed by her in that type of negative tonality. What? It's a playful tonality. You tease her and say, oh, I can't take you anywhere. Or, oh, you're such a klutz. The point is that it's all about the vibe, that you're having fun and just enjoying the experience. It's how you would treat yeah. your friends, right? Your
He's not sticking the landing, but you know, the, the starting point, the jump off was good. Close friends, you tease each other about certain things, which creates a sense of rapport when you do it to a woman that you meet for the first time, because we usually only tease people that we feel very comfortable with. So if you tease her in the right way, she will feel that rapport and feel closeness said, Don't to like, you. Bring it's like them you're down. part of her inner circle. So it's more about the nonverbal than the actual specific words you say. For example, you could tease her about almost anything, just the way she says something. Maybe she says like a lot and you accuse her of being a valley girl. Again, it shouldn't be like, oh, you're a valley girl. I could never date you. It should be like, oh my God, you're such a valley girl. Do you, do you listen to yourself? Oh my God, this is never going to work out. I'm Wait, what? He just repeated the bad line. What? No. No. No, that was wrong. That's okay. I mean, I got excited for a second because he was like, don't be a fucking asshole. Like, don't bring them down. You know, bring them up to your level or some shit. He just said the same thing. What? Hassan likes the Valley Girls? Wait, what? Really, dude? That's what you got out of that? That's your takeaway? Takeaway is that I am I am actually... I love Valley Girls. That's why I think this is bad advice. That's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe we shouldn't watch it with the fucking Twitch chat. I'm nervous about this because I'm not... I, don't, I can't do this. Oh, I bet you can. And here's a few other examples. See? This is why we can't have nice things. Are you just trying to get in my pants? You're so bad. Versus... Are you just trying to get in my pants? Number five is... What? Who would ever say that? That's a, yeah, don't be a serial. Hey guys, uh all right, uh sexy man LLC here. Uh I got some really good alpha dating advice for you. Uh don't Today's dating advice is um okay, don't be a serial killer. Might want to do that. You might want to be a serial killer, but don't do it. Okay? Cool, got it. All right. Are you just trying to get in my pants? You're so bad. Versus, are you just trying to get in my pants? Number five is role reversal, which is great because it flips the script. The traditional dating frame is courting. The man is chasing the woman. So instead, you just flip that around and accuse her of trying to get into your pants and accuse her of trying to seduce you. You might say, stop seducing me with your eyes, young lady. I see what you're doing. So bad. Or you might misinterpret something she says. Maybe she says she's going to go home and go to bed and you turn that into an invitation. I think I'm going to go to bed. I can't go to bed with you that easily. I mean, you need to buy me a drink first or something. <laughs> you can also accuse her for you escalating. There is like the only circumstance where someone says, I think I'm going to bed, which means, which implies that like you are going to bed with them is if this is your wife of like 35 years. Okay. Or at least your girlfriend. There's no circumstance in which you're like talking to a random woman at a bar and she says, I think I'm going to go to bed. And you see that as an opening to say, oh, dude, I, I'm not going to come with you. That's crazy. This is insanity, dude. So blame her for being the one that's causing you to make the moves on her. So you could say something like, if you my number one me, dating like advice that, guru, get in now. Forced to kiss you. Remember, it's all. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 what? Like, if you look at me again like that, I'm gonna be forced to kiss you. Remember, it's all in the delivery, in the tonality. Saying, if you look at me again like that, I'm gonna be forced to kiss you. Stop. Stop looking at me like that. Is not flirting. Number four is role playing. This one is awesome because it creates this context and this frame. Dude, every single one of this, dude, why is this advice always like, look, relationships are complicated, okay? Interpersonal communication is not easy to parse through. But for some reason, these homies always are just giving you like, like sexual harassment seminars and not in the way that you think. 
where you know how to uh, how to avoid sexual harassment lawsuits i'm talking like they're they're telling you like how to do sexual harassment frame of a fantasy world which means you can flirt with her you can tell her how much you are in love with her even but it's just a joke it's not real because it's a role play for example if you role play that you're getting married or that you're role playing that your boyfriend and girlfriend or it's like one of those epic romances where you're so in love then she could go to the bathroom and you could say darling don't leave me you're gonna be gone for so long what am i gonna do i know that sounds a little cheesy but it's fun it's playful it's so different than what other guys would do in the bar where they're just I want to know if there's ever <laughs> minus one, dude. Minus one, minus one. Um, um, that's fail RP. I wonder if a single person has gotten pussy doing any of this shit. Oh my god! Now that I no longer have COVID, I kind of want to try this out. But I can't. There's no way. It's just like it's. It, it would make people so uncomfortable. Like on an IRL stream or something? <laughs> he always got pussy using these techniques. Otherwise, he wouldn't be making this video. Yeah, everyone knows it's illegal to lie on the internet. Just like, hey, so how's your night going? You come here often? What do you do for work? <laughs> and in a marriage role play, which is one of my favorite. People who say Hassan's idea of flirting is bringing up pussy. You've never, and I mean never seen me flirt, okay? You've never seen me flirt. I've never flirted on camera, ever. Think you've seen me flirt. And that's fine. Go to the timeout corner immediately. Oh. Oh, no. Sure is hot out. Dude, it literally looks like I had an aneurysm. Oh, by the way, uh, and I mean this in all sincerity, bringing up cussy is literally better than what these guys are fucking talking about. You kissed me 30 minutes ago, so what's good? I mean, that was a secret kiss. It was like, see, I was close. We've all seen you flirt. It's just a tire. She goes, Lucky. Lucky. It's called acting sweaty. It's just a tire. <laughs> yeah, like that. Let's pull it up. Slowly. It's like I've been doing it wrong this whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah? You're on. How did you guys find this again? It's so whack that you found that. Like, it, it's so... Oh, God. Listen, sometimes you have to be... Sometimes you have to be a good friend and play a role in your friend's, like you know, movie pilot thing. And Will was on this too, by the way. How did you guys find this? There you go. You found it. Oh, he put a laugh track in it too. That's so bad. I have no control over what happens, okay? Sometimes you do stuff for your friends and it's deeply embarrassing. Hassan gets rejected by the store do owner. Do you know anything about, anything about my personality? Me? Yeah, it's you. Horny Mormies was when this stream went downhill. Dude, what do you mean? It, when it went uphill. Horny Mormies is a game changer. Okay, speaking of game changing, uh, ha seriously, Hassan, stop orientalizing Mormons. We deal with so much already. Oh my God. 
Uh, we're going to watch the new Crying Peterson, but the only thing we're going to watch right now is the top of the hour ad break. At the top of the hour, there's a six-second ad break. We're going to uh, go back to the fucking weird cringe TikToks uh of of dudes just uh you know being themselves and shit uh peterson cried again yeah that's big news we're definitely gonna watch that here's the woman ad break now if you no longer want to see those ads all you need to do is subscribe for five dollars or for free with the twitch prime here's the woman ad break <clears throat> um Okay, let's get back to this. favorites. You can get away with talking about so much. Talk about your future relationships, where you would travel together, painting these pictures in her mind of you and her together. You know what? I like you. We're so gonna get married. Instead of having a long engagement, we should just find my friend. Actually, he's right over there. He's in. Bro, this the death grip. What is going on? Imagine you meet a girl at a bar. And you fucking grab her hand and say, I like you. We're going to get married. That's insane. Don't say that. Don't do that. An ordained minister. Come on. And you can also talk about very risque things because you're a married couple now. In fact, a few times I've taken my dates into adult bookstores after we've done this marriage role play. And I'm just like, come on, honey, we need to spice up our romance. And I start whipping her with some of the whips and pick out some toys for her. And it's really fun and really. That did not happen. You know why? Because there would be a news article about man kidnaps local woman. Starts whipping her in a fucking adult sex toy, uh, adult sex shop. Okay. It would be in the local news, okay? Look at his eyes. This is insane. I ran the ad already. Really ramps things up to the next level. Another role play I yeah, like next is level. the mini relationship. It ramps it up to the level of going to prison, dog. You're going to federal prison. Oh, who am I kidding? This is America. The American criminal justice system almost always guaranteed is going to defend the rapist. Okay. Where you just have like a five minute relationship with a girl as boyfriend and girlfriend. I, I have a... I have a fear of commitment, so we can just do this for five minutes. You can be my girlfriend for five, five minutes, five minute handhold. and that's it. For just five minutes. Five minutes. That's all I can commit to. Can I keep to. walking this way? Yeah, let's go. We can <laughs> okay, walk. Girl. Yeah. Let's do what this. Your... It creates that sense of closeness that you're in a relationship right away, but it takes away the pressure because you're going to break up in five minutes. In fact, I use this as an opener going up to girls and saying, hey, can I be your boyfriend or will you be my girlfriend? And if you want to know how well it worked, it actually quite surprised me. Check out the video, the links to the video. Bro. Americans are so funny. He's just describing how to be Italian. Like, it, it, this is not like a hidden truth. Like, he literally, I've just realized. He's just like, hey, this is how to be an Italian 101. Okay straight up like he's not giving you any new truths he's <laughs> hey can i be your boyfriend the videos i'll put them down in the description by the way remember if you haven't downloaded my free conversation cheat sheet that's packed with other flirty examples make never run out of things to say with beautiful women make sure to download that right now there's a link down in the description for that as well next is touching which is a great way to flirt as long as you don't overdo it if you're touching her too much too soon then it's no longer covert it's very obvious what you're doing and to everybody around you they can tell you really like this girl and it can definitely creep her out so you must bro free andrew cuomo dude that's right i'm saying it it's not his fault he fucking watched this guy that's where he learned to do what he's doing. He didn't know any better. This guy is a, this guy's doing stochastic terrorism. Okay. 
That's what he's doing. He's teaching Andrew Cuomo and all these other dudes what to do with women. And this is the advice. Make sure to balance your interest. And this actually applies to every one of these concepts that you balance the showing interest by taking it away. You're saying, hey, I like you, but I'm not sure about you. Or with touching, it's, oh, you touch, but then you take it away. You should never be like, I like you, I like you, I like you, I like you, touch, touch, touch. You need to do a little bit and then take it away. Two steps forward, one step back. And touching works so well because it releases oxytocin, which is a feel-good hormone that is also released during orgasm. But the key is that the touching is in context. If you're completely touching her out of nowhere and it's not relevant to the situation, then it's going to seem creepy. So here's a few. My friend, that's, that's sexual assault. That's just what you just showed and are describing is just sexual assault. I do not understand. He's just like, oh, that's creepy. It's like, no, that's not creepy. That's just, that's a, a crime. Okay. What you are, what you are talking about is a crime. Two ways to touch her where it is in context. First, there's greeting touch, where you shake her hands, but to make it flirtatious, shake her hand and hold it longer than normal while looking into her eyes. Or give her a kiss on the cheek. Whoa, no! Yo, women love when random guys hold their hand and don't let go. And then kiss them on the cheek. They love that shit. Then there's also games like thumb wrestling or slap hands. There's also observational touch where you notice something about her, like she's wearing a cool necklace or she has a ring on her finger or a watch. Also leading her from one place to another place. You can go arm in arm or hand in hand. And there's also conversational touching to emphasize a point when you want to make something you're talking about seem more dramatic. You can also do correcting touch, which I love to do, which is when you fix her outfit or you take something out of her hair or you can even fix her posture and get her to stand up straight. Bad posture is a huge pet peeve of mine. Number two, I call the look of desire, which is using your eyes to flirt with her, which can be really- Oh my God, he's going to do it. Chat, get ready. He's going to do it. He's going to do it with his eyes. He's going to flirt with his eyes. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. He's going to flirt with his eyes. Wee woo, wee woo. It's about to happen. I'm letting you know. Especially ladies. Do not be alarmed. You might find yourself wanting to leave your significant other right now. Brace yourself really covert and have a huge impact. As they say, the eyes are the window to the soul and they can really create a lot of tension. And on the flip side, you can actually make the interaction very platonic by breaking the eye contact, by looking down, which is very submissive and shy and can make her feel like you're a weak man. If you want her to feel like you're a strong, powerful alpha male, then hold the eye contact longer than normal, but don't just look at her bug-eyed like this or like this. That's not flirtatious. Oh. You need to look at her with desire. You need to appreciate her beauty and allow yourself to feel that feminine. Yo, you know what's really funny about this? This is literally fucking like my fave 420 TikTok cringe TikToks that I watch. Which, by the way, for those of you who don't know, if you fucking don't, I mean, you're about to, you're about to find out. But fave TikToks 420, right? I I watch them all the time. So fave TikToks 420 is basically what this guy is doing, but in TikTok form, and not in, instead of giving dating advice, he's like literally they're doing that. They're Look, I, I love this. I'm sorry. You have to see this. I, I love this. You have to see it too. Bonjour, dis-moi. Quel est votre type d'entraînement préféré? Bonjour, dis-moi. Quel est votre type d'entraînement préféré? It, oh my God. They're, they're doing it. Like they're, they're basically doing like, oh, this one. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. 
What's up, people? Hey, what's up? Oh! Oh, god damn! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! You're looking so goddamn good today, baby! Oh my fuck! Oh, I can't! Oh my! Oh, just give me this! Just... Oh! Oh! No! I can't! Oh my lordy, baby! You're killing it! Ba boom! Ba bisk! Ba da ba da boom! Oh my god! Normally I say spicy meatball, but goddamn, you're making it look like nothing! I don't know what you did. I don't know what secrets you have. I don't know what side of whose bed you woke up on, baby. But god damn, keep doing it. Slay, bitch, slay. Oh my lord. I can't, I can't, I can't. What's up, bitch? If you knew his background, you would hate this even more. If you knew, like, the type of shit that he says and does, you would hate it so much more. Have we wronged you in some way? Why are you showing us these videos? We're learning. We're educating. Energy, we'll call it. That intoxicating feeling that a beautiful woman gives you when you're in her presence and just soften your gaze, just allow yourself to appreciate that beauty and let that appreciation for her attraction come through your eyes, not in a creepy way where you're like, oh my God, damn. The funniest question, do Americans hate French people because of Iraq? Yeah, that's why. Look at you, not like that. We missed the very important part. Beauty and let that appreciation for her attraction come through your eyes, not in a creepy way where you're like, oh my God, damn, look at you. Not like that, but where you're just looking at her like you know you could give her the utmost sexual satisfaction. You could give her the utmost pleasure in bed if she was so lucky. When you give her that look of desire, she will melt in front of you. And almost every guy on our boot camps needs help with their eye contact initially. To really ramp up that sexual tension, practice not blinking. I'm doing it right now. What I'm the fuck? you with my eyes. What the but fuck? I've noticed this. He said don't blink. Dude, that's it. Dude, he's literally giving you serial killer talking points, dude. This is literally like how to present yourself as a serial killer, even if you have not killed yet. Never blink. No matter what happens, do not fucking blink, okay? It's not a good idea. In a lot of Hollywood movies where the interaction is very intense and seductive, that there's not a lot of blinking, because believe it or not, blinking releases the tension. Also, stand a little closer than normal. That will increase that flirty vibe. Okay, dude. He's literally saying, touch them, hold your... Okay, so far he said, go up to a woman, hold her hand for a super long time, kiss her on the cheek, tell her you love her and you want to get married to her. Then, then you fucking never blink and you get up close and personal after fixing their posture and their clothes. This is the advice he has given thus far. Understand that the advice he's given thus far in the 12 minutes is all of those things that I just told you. And then take her to a sex shop and whip her. And that sexual tension. And also practice your smirk. When you're looking at her with desire and you're appreciating her attractive beauty, just have a little smirk on your face. Not an ear-to-ear -ear grin, because that releases the tension, and that just shows that you're nervous. <laughs> but instead, just appreciate the beauty. I've seen guys on our workshops as well, when they first approach a woman, it's so serious, and they're looking at her like this, and they have good eye contact, but they're so That man is a girl in this video. You are maidenless. Who am I going to listen to? Okay, why you got to do this to me? Uh, I already mentioned in the in the beginning earlier today. I said, you know, uh, I, I'm looking. Okay, 
Fuck you. Have a stone cold face and they're expressionless. When you do that, she's going to think you're a serial killer because she can't read you. She needs or because they followed your advice immediately after you said, you know, stare at them without blinking and get very closely to be able to read that read your intention and feel that you're not a threat and that this is a positive flirtatious vibe so that sm subtle smile or smirk will really help with that and number one which i consider the foundation of flirting is push pull which is showing her interest either direct verbally or through your eye contact or non-verbally through touching and then taking it away it's maintaining that balance of i like you but i'm not sure about you yet okay this is too long What's up,